In this video, we're going to solve real-world applications of polynomial equations. It says a crate has a, has the shape of a rectangular prism. The area of the base of the crate is 252 square inches. The length of the crate is 4 inches greater than the width, and the height is 2 inches less than the width. What is the volume of the crate in cubic inches? So I want to know the volume, which we can write the volume of the crate. The volume of the crate is going to be equal to length times width times height. They tell us that the base of the crate is 252 square inches. So the base would be the length times the width, and that's going to equal 252. And then they give us another or two more equations. They say the length of the crate, so L, is equal to 4 inches greater than the width. So that's the width plus 4. And the height is 2 inches less than the width. So we can say that the height is equal to 2 inches less than the width, that's the width minus 2. So we have a lot of equations, a lot of information, but you should be able to see that we can take the length and the width equation along with the length equation here and find the width. Once we know the width, we can use it to find the height. Once we know both of those, we could find uh, the length and then multiply all those together to get the volume. So we take W plus 4 and we plug it in. So it would be W plus 4 times W equals 252. Multiply this, that'd be W squared plus 4W equals 252. Let's subtract 252 over to the other side. That's W squared plus 4W minus 252 equals 0. Now we're going to look for factors of negative 252. Factors of negative 252 would be 18 and negative 14. So we can write that as w plus 18, and then w minus 14 equals 0. So we can use ZPP. When we use ZPP, we can say that w plus 18 equals 0, or w minus 14 equals 0. Solve each side, we get w equals negative 18, which we can't have our width being negative, so we're going to cancel that out. Solve this side, that'd be w equals 14, so our width is 14, which I can now use that to find the height by doing h equals 14 minus 2, so that's 12. So then I can find the length by also doing 14 plus 4 which is 18. So I have length, which is 18. I have width, which is 14. And I have height, which is 12. So I can take and multiply those together. 18 times 14 times 12. And that tells you the volume is 3,024, and that'd be 3,024 inches cubed.